mother trucker. I'm gonna smash this glass table. Gosh dang. Well, hello, welcome back. Ethan here with Archangel Tactical Concepts. What I have for you here in this rifle, sorry, pistol, is a Rise Armament 434 trigger. Now it is already out of the package. This video is actually not on that trigger. That'll be for another time. The reason why I'm mentioning it, because I already have it in here. Now this is a sexy trigger. Uh, everything about it I love. It's kind of a flat bow, hybrid, it's very slightly curved. I just, I love it. To me, it looks like a black upside down samurai sword. It's beautiful and sexy. This is a single stage trigger and it hardly has, I mean, it, I can't even say it hardly has any, it, it has no pre-travel, it has no over-travel. It's just, it's incredible. However, like I said, this video is not on this trigger. What this video is on, so let me preface this real quick. I have been begging, I'm not even going to call it asking, I've been begging Rise Armament to make a two-stage trigger for a while now. And the last time I messaged them, begging them, pleading on my knees for a two-stage trigger from them, was like a month before it finally released. And here it is, the iconic two-stage trigger. Now, this is unlike any other two-stage trigger out there. Basically, it has a trigger shoe acting as the first stage, and then the regular part of the trigger is just like a single-stage trigger. So it's kind of like a Glock trigger for an AR. It's pretty sick. So, so I don't get this video banned. I'm not going to show you how to install it, but when we come back, the Iconic is gonna be replacing the RA-434 in this pistol. All right, see you in a bit. Now that I've got it disassembled here, I want to show you uh, one of the main differences that I'm kind of excited about. So on their single stage triggers, like this RA-434, what you have, so it's just a drop-in trigger, so it can rattle around in the lower receiver group a little bit. However, to stop that from happening is there are these set screws right here on the bottom that you have to fish an Allen wrench through down there and tighten up. And then that will eliminate, completely eliminate any kind of rattle or free play in there. Instead of doing that, because honestly, getting this Allen wrench down in there and around all of that stuff is a pain in the butt. So this time with their two-stage iconic trigger to eliminate the set screws, what they've done is they've added these springs on the bottom here so that there's pressure on it, constant pressure. So no more set screws. Just wanted to point that out real quick. Now let's get this thing in there. All right. The Rise Armament Iconic, their two-stage trigger, is installed. I have been dry firing this, um, and I, gosh, I, I'm very disappointed to say I am less than impressed. Um, I don't know, maybe I hyped this thing up in my mind too much and yeah, I thought this was just gonna be like 
from God, from the heavens. It just the best two stage trigger ever. And I guess that was, uh, an expectation I shouldn't have had for it. Um, I love the concept of the trigger shoe. Let's get in on this here. See that trigger shoe right there. So the very front face of the trigger is the trigger shoe. And then this back part is the actual trigger that trips the sear. So we have this. Let's get closer. There we go. Right here, that's our first stage. That's the take up. And then the break. I mean, it is, I, I have to say, the, the actual break is phenomenal. It is like icicle glass break kind of break. That is awesome. What I don't like is, and my pins are as tight as they can possibly go, but you see that wiggle back and forth? like front to back from camera away from camera. I don't know if you can see it better from this angle. Yeah, there we go. Look at all that wiggle in there. That's crazy. That was the thing that disappointed me the most about this. Kind of sucks. You know, I really, really wanted to love this trigger. And I like it, but I don't love it because of that reason right there. I mean, it's nice. I mean, that break is phenomenal. I, I have to say, the break itself is phenomenal, but with it wiggling back and forth like that, it just kind of feels cheap. It, it feels like, like it can break. And the last thing you want in a trigger is to not have confidence in it. I mean, the pull itself, is awesome but gosh dang i i wish that it was just more sturdy it's just not as sturdy as i thought it was going to be now from there from the break back to reset some of that play goes away but as you can see not all of it. See that trigger itself kind of playing inside the shoe? Pushing back and forth like that. It's just, ah, gosh dang, I'm disappointed. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I may just send this thing back. I don't even... I really don't even want to take it to the range because uh, that's kind of ridiculous. I am very disappointed. Um, one of the things that I do like about it is that it has a nice wide trigger face. So the face of this trigger is nice and wide. However, the edges, the edge right here and on the other side over here are a little sharp. Um, tolerable, but I just wish that was a little more rounded out there. Man, I, uh, I really wanted to love this trigger and even dry firing it, I just don't. Um, one of the other drawbacks is this is, well, this is, this comes down to personal preference. So this trigger sits very far back in the trigger guard. To me, it feels like it feels very far back in ways. And I've got a little bit extra on the end here. And I don't have big hands. I don't have super long fingers. Mine are very average. And that just feels like it is very far back towards the back side of that, of the trigger guard in there, that whole trigger guard housing. Try to show you 
So that's the take up of this of the first stage. Second stage. Oh, it's, that is beautiful. That itself is amazing. And look at this reset. This reset is pretty good, awesome too. Nope, I didn't reset it. Right there. It really pushes your finger forward, even to the point where it kind of pushes you off of that first stage. So you even have to reset that first stage. Here's the reset. And I have to say, besides that first stage, there is no pre-travel whatsoever, and there is absolutely zero over-travel. Uh, and that was the same with their single-stage trigger that I have, the RA434. Absolutely no pre-travel and absolutely no over-travel. Just as soon as you start pressing that trigger, it breaks. However, I like the break on this better than their single-stage. That, to me, feels very, very good. And I like having that first stage to prep my trigger. Uh, I just prefer two stages over single stage triggers, but that's just preference. However, this, this wiggle back and forth is just, uh, I'm disappointed. I wish I could say all good things about this trigger and honestly I was expecting to say only good things about this trigger um, but I, I, I can't um, I, I don't know what else to say this um, I'm kind of my mind's kind of blown out of the water right now uh, I really want to take it to the range to see how it performs but I'm so disappointed in all this side wiggle, I'm, I'm not even going to do that so that I can return it. So, uh, unfortunately this trigger is a bust. No, sorry. That's a little over exaggeration. It's good. The trigger feels good. The pull feels good. The reset feels good. Um, all of that is super phenomenal. Uh, however, I think they're quality control on this particular trigger needs to uh, go up a notch uh, and just do something to get rid of all that side to side wiggle. Uh, and then it would be a probably a phenomenal, phenomenal trigger. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out and put my single stage back in um, and return this thing to Optics Planet. Uh, yeah, well, can't win them all. Not everything can be good. Not everything can be awesome. There are some things that are junk and I'm not saying this is junk. This is absolutely not junk, but there's definitely room for improvement. Rise armament. I think, uh, I think you are on the right track with what you've done. I know this is a new kind of two stage system that's patent pending. Uh, however, I think you've got some kinks to iron out. Um, so we'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching.